This is the X-47B, an autonomous fighter jet that has just achieved one of the U.S. military's most remarkable feats. After a decade of development and doubt, the X-47B, designed by Northrop Grumman, has reached a significant milestone, bringing it back to the forefront of naval warfare. What event revived this long-standing project, and what does it mean for the future of naval aviation? In a groundbreaking move, the X-47B successfully performed autonomous aerial refueling, a task once thought impossible for unmanned aircraft. This achievement not only showcases the advanced technology of the X-47B, but also marks a significant leap in autonomous military capabilities, potentially transforming naval aviation. With the X-47B back in the spotlight, it forces us to reconsider the future of naval aviation. Could autonomous fighter jets become the new standard, sidelining traditional piloted aircraft? How will this technological leap shape the strategies of the world's leading naval forces? Join us as we explore the story behind the X-47B's comeback and its impact on military aviation's future. The Resurrection of the X-47B Back in the early 2000s, the Navy foresaw a future dominated by autonomous machines and advanced computing. Visionary Navy officials enlisted defense industry giants, Boeing, Northrop Grumman, General Dynamics, and others, to develop prototypes that would propel the U.S. Navy into this futuristic realm. Thus, the Unmanned Combat Aerial Systems UCAS, program was born. The goals were ambitious yet clear. The final product needed to integrate seamlessly with current and future Navy aircraft carriers, carry ordnance and a variety of sensors, refuel mid-air, and execute takeoffs and landings from carriers. Northrop Grumman rose to the challenge, presenting the X-47B, which soon emerged as the frontrunner among all contenders. Fast forward to 2011, and the X-47B had already taken its maiden flight out of Edwards Air Force Base in California. This marked a pivotal moment, but the real test awaited. In 2012, the X-47B underwent rigorous deck testing on the USS Harry S. Truman. The results were groundbreaking. The drone integrated flawlessly with all carrier communication suites, navigated the deck, and performed essential operations paving the way for carrier-based drone warfare. Then came May 2013, a historic milestone as the X-47B became the first drone ever to take off from a U.S. aircraft carrier. The Navy's excitement was palpable, but the ultimate test was still ahead. That summer, the X-47B made headlines again by performing the first ever arrested landing of a drone at sea on the USS George H.W. Bush, this was not just a technological triumph, it was a paradigm shift. With each success, the X-47B's trajectory toward initial operational capability accelerated. Night flight operations, coordination with manned aircraft, and in-flight refueling tests followed, each adding another feather to its cap. The X-47B was no longer just a promising prototype. It was on the brink of becoming the first fully operational autonomous jet fighter. from budget nightmare. The X-47B was on the brink of extinction. By 2017, the Unmanned Combat Aerial System program had ballooned billions over budget without a fully operational design to show for it. It seemed destined for the museum shelf, but a high-level review breathed new life into this revolutionary drone. Now poised to take on the autonomous fighter role, the X-47B stands ready to redefine naval aviation. What makes the X-47B a true game-changer today? The answer lies not in its design, but in the advanced AI that powers it. While weapon systems and sensors are critical, it's the sophisticated AI computers inside the X-47B that set it apart. The most challenging task for these drones has always been the takeoff and landing on aircraft carriers. Why is this so difficult? 
Traditional runways are long, flat, and static, but aircraft carrier runways are anything but. The pitch, roll, and yaw caused by sea forces make the deck unsteady, creating a nightmare scenario for landing. Human pilots require years of training to master this maneuver, relying on catching one of three arresting wires on the deck to land safely. Teaching a robot to execute this complex task was akin to asking a toddler to walk a high balance beam with their eyes closed, seemingly impossible and extremely risky. In the past, the X-47B had to rely on human operators for takeoff and landing, but a breakthrough has changed everything. Recent sea tests have demonstrated that Northrop Grumman engineers have perfected the AI on board the X-47B to autonomously take off and land on an aircraft carrier. In February of this year, the X-47B made history again by becoming the first drone to autonomously perform these maneuvers without any human intervention. This development is monumental. The X-47B can now take off, conduct missions, and land entirely on its own. This leap in technology is a testament to the relentless innovation and determination behind the X-47B program, securing its place as a cornerstone of future naval operations. The implications of this are staggering. With its newfound autonomy, the X-47B can operate in environments too dangerous for manned aircraft, execute complex missions with unprecedented precision, and enhance the operational capabilities of the U.S. Navy like never before. Modern Warfare's Ultimate Tool The X-47B is finally completing its testing after years of setbacks and budget cuts. This advanced drone is poised to revolutionize modern combat. What makes the X-47B the ultimate tool in modern warfare? To start, the drone's design is optimized for the tight confines of an aircraft carrier. Measuring 38 feet long, 62 feet wide, and 10.4 feet tall, it might seem small enough to fit into cramped aircraft hangars, right? Well, not exactly. The X-47B's wings can fold down to a length of 31 feet when stowed, allowing it to fit into even the tightest spaces at sea. Ensuring that it can take off with its max weight of 44,577 pounds, the X-47B carries a substantial amount of fuel and ordnance to execute its combat missions. This is made possible by its single Pratt and Whitney F 100-220U turbofan engine which propels the drone at speeds of up to Mach 0.92, just below the speed of sound. Additionally, the X-47B boasts a high service ceiling of 42,000 feet, enabling it to engage a wide range of enemy aircraft. Once airborne, the X-47B can carry up to 4,500 pounds of ordnance, including two joint direct attack munition, JDAM bombs. During its flight, the X-47B can refuel from other aircraft, giving it an operational range of 3,900 kilometers. This range is limited only by how long the operator wants the drone in the air. But what truly sets the X-47B apart is its array of sensors. While the exact types, quantities, and capabilities of these sensors remain classified, we have a general idea of its impressive capabilities. The drone serves as an advanced intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance platform with a wide range of electro-optical and infrared cameras. It also features synthetic aperture radar, allowing it to distinguish ships, aircraft, and other targets from great distances. The X-47B is equipped with several ground-moving target indicators, as well as aerial-moving target indicators. This means that whether the target is a ship, aircraft, tank, truck or vehicle, the X-47B can detect, track and target it with precision. The Game Changing You won't believe the cutting-edge technology packed into the X-47B. Recent media reports reveal that this drone is armed with an advanced electronic warfare suite capable of detecting and potentially jamming enemy electromagnetic signals. But how does the X-47B stack up against other prototypes like the MQ-2 Stingray? 
After a major restructuring of the UAST program in 2016 to 2017, the Navy decided to move away from a one-size-fits-all approach for drones. Instead, they tailored each drone for specific missions. While the physical dimensions and flight performance of the MQ-2 Stingray and X-47B are nearly identical, their purposes and corresponding AI and sensors are vastly different. The MQ-2 is designed as a dedicated aerial refueling platform, whereas the X-47B is meant to operate alongside fighter aircraft. Does the X-47B have a future in carrier air wings? Absolutely. This drone is critical for several reasons. First, it's a massive force multiplier. Fighter pilots require years of training to become proficient, and losing even a few in a peer-to-peer -peer conflict would be devastating. The X-47B preserves human capital by acting as a sacrificial asset in combat. When naval aviators are preparing the battle space, one of the most dangerous tasks is suppressing enemy air defenses. The X-47B can be deployed first, taking the brunt of the enemy fire and clearing the way for manned fighters. Moreover, the X-47B greatly enhances the knowledge of the air and space domain around a carrier strike group. Naval commanders rely heavily on the E-2D Hawkeye for this purpose, but there are only so many Hawkeyes available. Losing one is a huge blow. By incorporating the X-47B to work in concert with the Hawkeye, commanders can keep the Hawkeyes at a safe distance or ground them all together, sending up the X-47B instead. Perhaps the most exciting potential use of the X-47B is for aerial combat. While currently armed with ground attack munitions, Navy leadership envisions a future where the X-47B is equipped with air-to-air -air missiles, fighting shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder with F-18S and other fighter aircraft. Though the day when enemy fighters are downed by a drone is still a way off, the X-47B is paving the way for a new era in aerial warfare. Thanks for watching. Click on the link on your screen to explore more videos on revolutionary military technology. See you there.